Welcome back. So uh, in the last video, I gave you five who or what you should know for 2021. Yeah, we, we came back to the vlogs going right into it because there's no sleeping on 2021. We wasted a whole year last year. We've got to get into things. So let me share the last five of who or what you should know for 2021. Number six for me is... Um, homemaker thing when I, I started to want to make fresh meals at home or to do better with feeding my family I, I can cook so I thought <laughs> but I could cook basic meals but you know I wanted to be like chef level kind of homemaker and I said okay do you hire a chef to come teach you or do you go on YouTube which is free and learn from these amazing chefs Centonomy has taught me to save my money, so I did not hire a chef. I went online. And there's a couple of people who make simple meals, but are like super cool and your family will find exciting. And if you want to switch up, you say, I don't want to cook um, a goat stew Monday to Monday, January to January the same way. Then these are the people that I have found quite useful in learning how to make different meals, different salads, just make that table interesting for your family to eat. So if you are a homemaker, you would like to learn how to cook from scratch. These are the people I found useful. One from Kenya is Mandy Saro. Mandy girl, I'd like to meet you. <laughs> I'd like for you to make me a meal and me to eat it. What's the value in this for you? I will eat all your food. <laughs> Mandy Saro makes some really um, delicious meals, but also what I like about Mandy is that she you know when you want to do like date night at home and you want to make some like nice chicken wings and something cool and something nice for like movie night? Be creative. She's the chick, okay? She's the chick for creative meals, creative brunch at home on Sunday. And I like those things. I like to, we're a young couple. I don't want to be cooking like it's my grandmother, do you know? So Mandy Sarah is the plug, okay guys? But another plug who I only got to know during lockdown was Chef Raphael, okay? Because you want to bake. You want to learn meals for the family because you have a bigger family. You see how Mandy Saro is good for when you're like a two, three, four family kind of home. I think Chef Raphael, his meals are good for when you're a big family because you can make big portions and everybody can enjoy it. So Chef Raphael, another plug. Another plug I only got to know from Claudia Kalisa, who you should follow if you love anything nutrition, is Aggie's Kitchen, and I'm going to put it here for you on the screen so that you can know where to get it, because I wasn't sure how to tell you how to get it. But awesome salads, um, again, because your family should be eating healthy stuff, boost your immunity, fruit salads, veggie salads, awesome, really nice, healthy stuff, especially if you're like me. So my family feeds very scrumptious and yummy, but me, on the other hand, because I'm watching my weight and stuff like that, I like to eat healthy meals, so that's the difference. So that's the plug. Number seven, right after you eat, <laughs> you've got to work out. Imagine. So the plug for me on working out. So I used to spend money at the gym. I'm probably still going to go to the gym and spend some money. But the difference is I'd pay a membership. I wouldn't show up some days because of my busy schedule. But then I realized it's a mentality. If I want to work out, I can even do 30 minutes workout at home, right? But I can't trust myself to look at Pinterest and say, to do you 10 planks, 10-minute planks, or five burpees. I can't follow that stuff. I like an instructor. I like someone to talk to me um, as I work out. So I found this app. It's free, or it's got a free section of it, and then it's got a paid-for or a premium section. Now, the free section has got so much that you may never need to pay. Okay? It's called Fit On. It's the app. Now, mind you, just to make it clear, no one has paid me to say any of these things. These are things I actually use or people I actually know or see. And so, yeah, I'm just sharing. The Fit On app, guys, download it and you will absolutely thank me. They have everything from yoga to meditation to prenatal or postnatal. Ati, I want to get pregnant, but I want to be the right weight. They ha they've got you. I'm from having a baby. I'm not sure how to do it with my body. They've got you. Or I like to work out one day a week, two days a week, three weeks. They've got you. You customize a plan according to your body needs, your goals, your fitness goals. A bonus, guys. They've got meal plans. So they'll literally show you breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. 
get the fit on app so speaking of apps so i've told you a fitness app but i want you to also i want to do body mind and spirit right so i've told you fit on for the body for your mind because guys i have entered the realm where i actually love to meditate i like to be centered because anxiety is real okay you'll go through a day and a lot of things will piss you off you'll get out of your mood 10 times a day you need to calm down the insight timer the insight app is everything so it has everything from music to help you sleep to sounds to help you calm down so you just punch in what your problem is anxiety depression sleep whatever it is and they'll they actually have guided meditations or silent meditations or music meditations it's just you'll thank me insight now that so i've given you body i've given you mind let me give you spirit i'm a christian me and god have this really tight relationship we fight sometimes but we are close like that we're like geez okay and in my quest to make the relationship even better i thought i'm on my phone a lot okay of my day and it's, it's not the same amount of time I used to go to my Bible, but I still want to be close to God. So I found this app called the Soul Time. I'm going to put it up there. And this app helps you because every day they have a three-minute um, meditation in the morning where you meditate over the Word of God. They give a scripture. They pray with you. And then you can also start different plans that can help you get closer to God. So if it's something that rocks your boat, why not? You know what I'd like is that in the comment section, if you're, for example, a Muslim, you can share if there are apps that can help you get better in faith, in your faith. You know, because we're all diverse in our beliefs and it would be nice if we could share in that way. Okay, so that was number seven. Had three, but it is still number seven. Number eight is a who. <laughs> okay, this is a person I believe you need to follow if you are married or in a stable, steady relationship, a.k.a. I live with my partner. And two, if you are a mother. I find this chick so resourceful. Oh, my God. Now, I know on Facebook she's, like I put the Aster, but I think she's Esther. So I'm going to call her Esther. <laughs> so Esther, I only discovered because she owns a business called Jay-Z Dinner Sets. And she sells these really pretty crocs and pretty plates and glasses. And oh, she just makes your home look so nice at an affordable price. Okay? We like to be frugal here. So we can save money to go to Santorini. So anyway, so Jay-Z dinner sets. I bought some stuff from her. But then I found her on Facebook and I realized what a great resource for a woman. She doesn't have a maid. So she teaches on how to take care of your home on your own. She teaches how to feed your family, how to take care and, uh, of your children, how to take care of your partner, how to pray better, how to make your home look neat. She does challenges here and there about cleaning your home, um, making sure you look good. So she's just like one of those like big sister vibes who just help you to make sure things are in place. And the how, she helps you to answer that. So maybe declutter here like this. She even has a YouTube channel, but she's not very active. But if you follow her on Facebook, you're in. Esther is such a plug. So that's her Facebook page. In case you need to find her, that's how you type out her name. Number nine, she'll be very surprised I actually put her here. But it's a what, okay? So uh, a new friend of mine, Ruth Aine, owns this business, which she started in 2020 during COVID. People were creative during COVID. Yo! Okay, during lockdown, because we still have COVID. She's got a business called Mara Boxes. I don't know, every friend of mine, I have put them on to this business. I like to gift. I like to give family, friends, new friends, colleagues. I just, I like to be thoughtful. However, the time to go and curate these perfect gifts, not there. So you're the type of person like me who, by the way, guilty. Every baby shower, I used to give a blanket. I'm like, every baby needs a blanket. No? <laughs> Birthdays, socks, watches, perfume. But what Mara Boxes does is they curate gift boxes. And they'll, they'll put some of the cutest little things. And you're like, I couldn't even have thought of that. That's so sweet. So all you do is say, here's my budget. And this is the person I'm gifting. 
And maybe you say a few things about the person. Maybe they like football. They like this. They like that. And you give her maybe a day. And she'll curate this wonderful box. So Mara Boxes is the plug. Affordable gifting that's creative. You're welcome. The final thing, number 10, on the list of who or what you should know for 2021. I kept the best for last. It's a quote. It's a mantra that you and I need to hold on to, to clutch on to for 2021. I've got to read this one. I know they're going to put it up for you on the screen. If you are easily provoked, you are easily controlled. So make composure your superpower. Guys, this was a tweet from, is it Stephen Bartlett? But every time I am moved, every time I move to like slap someone, I go back to it and I'm like, yeah, what provokes me controls me. I'll be composed. If you can remind yourself every single day when you are incited to be out of your vibe, that whatever provokes you controls you, and so look at the list of things and people you've let control you already, just today. Mm, rebuke it, okay? Make composure your superpower. That's it for my 10 things that you should know. Who or what? If you, this was five, so if you missed the top five or the first five, the video is still there. Go and check it out. Guys, I love you. I am back. And in case you want to see any different content, please let me know in the comments section. Otherwise, I love you. Be safe. Until the next video. Bye.